What's up, Storm fans? It's Brian Cook, and today, once again, we are playing Neoform, this time in Pioneer. If you missed it, I recorded this deck about a month ago. You can check that video out in the card above, and that was my first time ever playing this deck. The main deck was a little bit different, so we had a few different lands in there. That's not really important. But what is important is that we were playing Solve the Equation out find Neoform, and it was by far the worst card in the deck. And then throughout the league, I realized that I just really wanted some sort of main deck interaction that we didn't have. So at the end of that video, I recommended testing out Thoughtseize. I've played it in a few leagues since then, and I've really liked it. I did recommend a main deck Besaju, but I ended up shifting that to be a Watery Grave because we ended up needing more uh, black sources for these Thoughtseizes, but also I didn't want to have games where I didn't find blue for the Neo form. So this mana base has worked out really, really well for me, and I've loved the Thought Seizes. I did shave down to two Consider because they were the weakest card in the deck. When you have Contingency Plan, Tygum Scheming, I don't know why it's not enlarging. Can we do that? There we go. And Otherworldly Gaze, you don't need to have Considers. It's a fine card. It's just not required for filling the graveyard. Well... This might be your first time ever watching this deck and how does it work, right? Like that's the thing everyone wants to know before they watch a video on the deck. So what we want to do is we want to fill the graveyard using these effects like Consider, Otherworldly Gaze, Contingency Plan, and Scheming. So that way we can delve into Tassiker or Hooting Mandrills on the third turn. We're going to use our other two mana on the third turn to cast Neoform. So we sacrifice that creature we just delved into in order to put Velomachus Lorehold, the Elder Dragon, onto the battlefield. And when it attacks, you can reveal the top seven. Top seven instance or sorceries from your library. You can cast one of them, put the bottom on the uh, whatever, equal to its power. I'm butchering this. Please forgive me. But one of the cool things about Neoform is that it adds a plus one, plus one counter. So when Velomachus attacks, you can now cast a spell that costs six or less instead of five, which means that you can cast Karn's Temporal Sundering or part the Water Veil to take an extra turn. Basically, you just want to chain Time Walk effects like those two blue six mana sorceries with Velomachus to attack for lethal over and over. That's the game plan. So turn three, you cast Neoform, you put a huge dragon onto the battlefield, and then you just attack over and over and over again. So that's what we're looking to do here. In the sideboard, we have some copies of Leyline of Sanctity to protect you from effects like Thoughtseize, but also Go Blank and Necromentia, Stern Dismissal. Um, you know, there's a bunch of cards that, that hits like Rest in Peace that would prevent you from uh, delving into your stuff, which is really why we play the Swan Song. It's to hit the Rest in Peace. I really like Malevolent Hermit as a possibility here. I actually haven't got to use it yet, if I'm being honest, but the dedicated control decks, you can mill it with something like Contingency Plan or Scheming, and then just put it onto the battlefield in order to cause a huge fuss, because it gets underneath Dovin's Veto, and that's really interesting. Witherbloom Command is really sweet, because not only is it an answer, it also fills up your graveyard. So on curve, let's say your opponent plays a Graph Digger's Cage or something. You can blow up the cage and mill three, so that way you can cast your uh, other effects on curve. And that's just really, really nice. And then Besaju, you can actually get back with Weatherbloom Command. So some sort of, um, pretty cute interactions there, I guess is what I'm trying to say. That's my deck tech. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, suggestions, whatever, you know what to do. Put those down below. And uh, I really appreciate you watching. I do mean that. And uh, I'll see you in the first match. Don't go anywhere. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for a Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 
15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. But maybe sweet perk, secret deck list, early access to videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some Magic. Welcome to the first round. We're on the draw. I have a turn one thought season, a turn two scheming, which is pretty much everything we want. We will have to find a Neoform and a Delve creature, but we have, you know... 12 looks by turn three for those, so I think we'll be okay. Turn one mountain into Soul Scar. Draw. Another scheming. Okay, let's Thought Seize. See if we can slow down the opponent a little bit. Whoa, that's a lot of Eidolons. Um, yeah, I mean, I have to take one here. Okay, so when we cast this scheming, we'll be doing some uh, self-inflicted damage, unfortunately. Draw. All right, we hit the Neoform. That was great. Now what we want to find is the Delve creature. Let's cast scheming. Ouch, we go to 13. We found a Delve creature. Okay, so... All right, this goes on top. Pass the turn. So we do take two off the Neoform next turn, but that's okay. We have to remember that our opponent does have Stomp in hand. We're at 10. It's technically less damage here to play the Mana Confluence. So I'll do that. Passager. All right, so we have the turn three dragon. We just have to uh, reveal some good stuff. All right, so now we go to nine, and then we'll go down to seven to play this Neoform. All right, go get our Velomachus lore hold and attack for six. Get in there. Auto yield to that trigger, see if we can reveal a time walk. They're bone crushering the Velomachus. Oh, that makes sense because of the Soul Scar Mage. I did not consider that, so I cannot reveal a time walk here. Um I don't want to cast these because I don't want to take damage off this. Good play by the opponent. Alright. Uh I am not going to cast any of these. So they'll take four. Yeah, that was a really good play by them. I did not consider that about Soul Scar Mage whatsoever. Now the Chandra will finish off the Velomachus. That was a really tight play. Props to them, and we're just out of this. We went from winning the game to losing. That was impressive. Uh, you could board in Leyline to stop their burn spells, but I'm not really sure that's the battle we want to be having here. Um, I'm just going to submit this. All right, time to bounce back. Game number two. Okay, so we have Neoform, we have Otherworldly Gaze. Double Time Walk is not ideal. 
Um, I think I'm going to keep this though. The reason that this is not ideal is that I want to be able to reveal these and it's tougher because now we only have six time walks in our deck. Okay, and they're just passing. Cast the otherworldly gaze. And there's the hoots. I definitely want to keep hoots. Put hoots on top. Draw. What can I do with this? Uh, target opponent loses two, I gain two, and then the mill three. Yeah. All right. Green, black. Target them. Whoa, hold on. Target player mills three. I want to mill myself. There we go. Okay. I almost messed it up. And then return watery grave. So not only did it fill my graveyard, it returned the third land that I need in order to win the game on curve. Unfortunately, I milled two more time walk effects. We're down to four time walk effects in our deck. And there's the Eidolon. Draw. Okay, so we're going to go to 16. And then play monkey. All right, and then blue, green, bringing me. Okay. Now we untap. I could upkeep otherworldly gaze, but I also just get to cast contingency plan here, and our opponent concedes. All right. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Um. It's worth noting that this does not kill x twos. Just throwing that out there. Uh, but I still think it's fine in case our opponent has something like Raptor Gear's Cage. I'm just going to resubmit. Game three. On the draw. We have a Hoots. But we also have a Tassiker, so we have double Delve Creature. What this hand is lacking is a Neoform and a way to fill up the graveyard. So we have Consider and Certain Dismissal to slow things down. I think I'm going to keep this just because we do have eight of the contingency plan effects, and I don't think you just have to hard mulligan. Opponent kept six. All right. Playing with fire. 18. Draw. I'm so good. And by so good, I mean so very lucky. All right, second red source into Eidolon. I'm going to respond to that by casting Consider. We can mill Tassiger. Another land is not what the doctor ordered. Draw. I'm going to play the Mana Confluence because I might want to double Stern Dismissal just to fill my graveyard. Rampaging Ferostodon. Let's auto yield to this. Players can't gain life whenever, whenever another creature enters the battlefield that deals one. I'm just going to bounce the idol on here. Okay, and then... I'm going to stern dismissal this as well. I, I can't go... I can't win on my turn uh, just because I would need one more card in the graveyard. But, I don't know. Um... I mean, I could tap this Mana Confluence and keep a card in the graveyard, too. I guess there's, like, some world out there where Tassiger dies, right? So let's try this, I guess. Pass the turn. Eidolon's back. And another Eidolon. Draw. Let's Neoform. I'm at 10. Get the Velomachus lore hold and go to combat. Get in there. I did hit a Cardin's Temporal Sundering. Target me. And bounce an idol on. Alright, they're at 9. Untap, draw. So I can contingency plan here. To help me potentially hit that time walk, which would guarantee to win. 
The problem is I would take two, but I think that's fine. Our opponent's pretty unlikely to burn me out from eight life. They have three cards in, and we know one of them's the dinosaur, the Rampaging Frostodon. And I hit the other time lock effect. All right, so we're going to keep Kerns on top. Get in there. Triggers. Okay. Cast the Karn's Temporal Sundering. Bounce the Eidolon. Get in. And that's going to be the match. I, I didn't play a land there. I've won. It doesn't matter. Neoforman Pioneer. God, I love that card. I've been playing so much Neoform on this channel recently. Uh, if you are, are a regular watcher, you would have realized that like it's pretty much all that I've been doing is playing Neoform. Alright, so the opponent is in fact Deadzo. Let's cast uh, Perth of Water Veil. You are super dead. You got me in game one, but we got you in the second half. 1-0, round two coming up. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. All right, time for the second match. We're on the play. All we're missing is Neoform. I, I know that this is a five card hand, but or I'm sorry, a five land hand, but I'm going to keep it. Can't tell me otherwise. Okay, Botanical Sanctum, pass that turn. Forest into Elf, so they're likely on the Green Devotion deck. Wow, I am so lucky. So, so lucky. Scheming. Uh, we're just going to mill all of these. Yeah, just mill them all. Okay. There's the oath. Honestly, I mean, I don't want to count my chickens, but I never beat this deck whenever I'm on. Uh, it might not be devotion. This could just be like mono green, I guess. Damn, I drew a time lock. That's I. I thought about keeping a hooting mandrels on top for that reason, and I didn't end up doing it. Um, so that's sort of a bummer. But I never beat the the Karn Devotion deck, so like the idea of beating it with Neoform seems really nice to me. Alright, so we have seven time walks in our deck. And our opponent just snap conceded. Wow. They must not like this deck. Okay. So let's board in this turn dismissal. Actually, do I want to leave in Thoughtseize? Thoughtseize does seem pretty good here. Uh, I think maybe I just want Besaju's and maybe Witherblooms. I feel comfortable cutting one land. Let's go down to three Thoughtseize and I'll cut the Watery Grave. Let's try this out. Game number two. We have Neoform. Yeah, this hand is stacked. Keep. We do need land three. Forest into Elf, you got it. Draw. Just play the Breeding Pool. And we hit land three, so we have a turn three dragon as of right now. Burning Tree Emissary. I don't know, this might be the Devotion deck. Another Neoform, okay. Uh, let's just ta cast this scheming here. Okay, uh, so we're going to have to mill the dragon, which I don't love. Or I could keep the dragon on top, but then I don't have enough to win next turn, right? Like, if I keep the land on top, I need five cards to delve. I would only have four, so I should just mill it and 
keep one card on top so that way I can't draw the, the second one. I think you're supposed to keep contingency plan. All right. Pass the turn. So the reason that you want to keep contingency plan is let's say everything goes according to plan. I, I didn't mean for that to happen. I just did. Uh, but let's say everything, you know, is going according to your plan or whatever. So then you can uh, use that contingency plan to look for another time walk. And I think that's really what we're looking for here. Draw. All right. So tap this for a black. Play Tassiger. All right. Neoform. Go get the dragon. And opponent just snap concedes. Game wasn't even over yet, but I'll take it. Let's see if I can draw the top seven. One, two. All right. We, we would have gotten there. 2-0, three rounds left to go. Playing your favorite combo deck and paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot. Everyone's favorite storm wind condition. A galvanic relay exile indicator, four treasure tokens for strike it rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has slime time live. Eighth progenitor ooze tokens with the power and toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice. We've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then squirrels versus goblins, chatterstorm versus empty the warrens, the battle of the ages. You definitely need 20 squirrel tokens and 20 goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. On the draw for the third match. We've opened up Thoughtseize, which is obviously great. The Velomach is not so much. We have a contingency plan. So what we're missing with this hand is a green source and a Neoform. Um, one of my concerns is if we accidentally mill the other Velomachus or find it. I don't know why, but I think that like I don't have good rationale. Like this hand is fine. But I think I'd rather just London Mulligan. And this is better already. We could just bottom the Velomachus. And now we only have to find a Delve creature. Draw. Okay, pass the turn. This is Nio colored. Okay. I don't immediately recognize all of the new uh, Triumphs yet. So this could be just guy ascendancy. We're gonna mill this. Other oh, really gaze, okay. Let's upkeep gaze because I could potentially find a delf creature here. And we did. Okay, we're gonna keep that on top. I'm sorry that it's so small, but it's the new Moto UI that I absolutely hate. Alright, so we can play the blooming marsh. Ooh. Actually, okay, this small mistake here. I don't think I'm supposed to. Like, why potentially lose to a removal spell? I should have just played Breeding Pool there. That's my bad. All right, they're casting Consider. Atawara. Is this going to be a Jeskai Ascendancy? Blue green into another carotid draw. Okay, so I'm gonna cast the monkey. All right, and blue green neoform. Get the Velomachus and attack for six. Triggers we hit. All right, so we're gonna grab the part of the water veil. Take an extra turn. Okay. Draw. 
I just realized that I exiled, uh, wait, no, never mind. Ignore me. I exiled the otherworldly gaze to the delve. My bad. Ignore me. All right, so I'm going to contingency plan here, see if we can put another time walk on top. All right, so I might as well keep these. We're going to end up putting one to the bottom, but that's still better than milling it. Okay. Cast part the water veil. All right. And then I'll go to 16. Play consider. We'll keep that. All right. Draw. So I do know that there's a bunch of time walks on the bottom of my deck. Something I could do here is Hooting Mandrill's Neoform to shuffle. <clears throat> and then I could, you know, get a whole bunch of new cards, but I can't cast the scheming, and I feel like that's pretty much the same. Uh and this doesn't get the same value, so I can't get another Valamachus with this Neoform. I think I'd rather just cast the scheming here. We did hit another time walk. What's nice is I can actually uh, flashback the other whirly gaze afterwards. All right, so let's get in there. Okay, turns temporal sundering target me. No targets for the second half. I'll take an extra turn. And the opponent concedes. The sex good. Really good. Alright, so I th I believe we are facing just guy sentency. Um I believe we want Paseju. And Swan Songs. Let's cut consider. It brings me up to 63. Once again, I think you can cut one land. And then you have to figure out what the other two cuts are going to be. Part of me wonders if I can just cut one of each of these, but maybe that's crazy. I'm going to try this out. I've never done this board plan before. I want to see how it goes. All right, game two versus Jeskai Ascendancy. We have Neoform, we have a Delve creature. We need land two. We are on the draw. I'm gonna look so dumb if I don't hit one though. I'm gonna risk it. Feel free to judge me when I don't hit my second land, but I, I don't know. Like this seems too good to pass up. And I'm a genius, clearly. I got lucky. All right, we still need to find a green source, but I'll definitely take Watery Grave. And there's their sacred foundry. Hermit. Okay. Play the contingency plan. I think I just mill all of these. All right, pass the turn. <clears throat> all right, hollowed fountain. And they're going to get in. We go to 18. Part the Water Veil. All right, I'm going to go to 16 here. I'm just going to play Tassiger. You cannot Hermit that. Consider. All right, opponent with six cards in hand. Here's the Ascendancy, yep. Draw. All right, let's contingency plan. I want to keep a land on top. Uh, so we can mill the Blooming Marsh here, but I'll keep the Mana Confluence. Mana Confluence allows me to double Neoform next turn. Play a Hoots. All right. Get in there. Triome. 
three mana, Sylvan Awakening. There's a good chance I'm dead. All right. The Hermit bought them enough time. All right. I'm good to go to game three. That's a bummer. Okay. Um... I don't think I should be boarding in Stern Dismissal here. I mean, I could. I'd have to take out other really gays, and then I lose consistency. I'm just going to resubmit. Being on the play, I'm just hoping to race the Hermit instead. This seems fine. Keep. Okay. We're just going to main phase this other really gaze to play around Mystical Dispute. And I think I'm just going to mill all of these. Pass the turn. Sanctum, pass. That's not good. Did not want to draw that. All right, I'm just going to play the scheming. No Neoform. Um... I don't know what to do here. I think I just mill everything. Pass. They cast consider. There's land two. Let's flashback otherworldly gaze. Alright, I think I'm actually gonna keep Thoughtseize. Draw. So I can play Hoots in the next turn, Thoughtseize plus uh, other Whirly Gaze. Bell Voice some lands. All right, Hoots is on the board. Pass the turn. Growth Spiral, okay. Red, blue, Expressive Iteration. Consider, you got it. Harbor, so they're still representing Mystical Dispute at the moment. Let's Thoughtseize. Dovin's Veto, wow. No white mana yet, but they do have double dig through time. Flash this back. I wonder if I should just like keep Tassiger. Is that crazy? Or if I should just be digging for Neoform? I definitely want to mill the other Whirly Gaze. I think I'm going to keep uh, another Delve Threat. All right, get in there. We're a third of the way through our deck at this point. So we know that our opponent's hand has these six cards. Dig through time. No white source still. There's a hermit. Draw. Get in there. Let's play the Tassiger. All right. Expressive Iteration. They played Harbor last turn, right? Yep. They revealed another Expressive Iteration here. You got it. Sylvan Carotid. And they found their White Source. So I'm actually in a bit of trouble here. I'd really like to find the other Besaju that's left in my deck. All right. Thoughtseize is a good one, though. Although I'm about to mill the other Valomachus. All right. Let's get in there. They block, okay. Thoughtseize. They, hmm. No point in taking the second dig through time. I wonder if I just take opt here. 
Like, I don't think I actually care about Dovin's Veto anymore. I'm all in on creature beats. Alright, and there's the Belevolent Geist. They found Jeskai Ascendancy, so I'm dead next turn to dig through time. Finding Sylvan Awakening. Oh my! Wow, what a rip! I can't believe that. That's insane. Um. Okay. This is a, going to be a dig through time. Oh, I forgot about the uh, the loot trigger. Should I just blow this up now, or should I wait for them to go deeper? So they haven't played a land. So assuming that they hit perfects. All right, I think I'm supposed to do this now. So even if they hit perfects, they can't shock here because they're at two. So the best that they can do is like find a wrath or something, which they probably don't have. Because even if they hit the best two cards in their deck, it'd have to be Jeskai Ascendancy and another Sylvan Awakening. And you have to cast Ascendancy first into Sylvan, and then you need a free spell that doesn't exist in Pioneer in order to kill me. Did we just win via Creature Beatdown? Red, blue, okay. You're looking pretty good for us at the moment. Yes, we got there. 3-0, two rounds left. I am loving this deck. Hey, you're still watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. Match number four, and we've opened up the nuts. Another turn three Elder Dragon. I'm feeling really, really good about this league. Let's see what our opponent's on. Obviously, things could always change. Keep. Clear water. Okay, so blue black deck. Moonsnare prototype. What are you on? All right, watery grave past the turn. Spire. Okay, so they're on the um, and soul artifact deck, I believe. Let's consider here. We can mill that. And I found land three, which is something I needed. So now they can tap the prism to make it colorless, and they don't. Another Neo, okay. Now we cast the scheming. That's a lot of time walks in there. Jeez. Um, so we can definitely mill Tassiger in the plan. That puts five in my deck, in my, in my graveyard. So I'm actually going to draw one of these on purpose, so that way I don't have to mill, because I need time walk effects in my deck, so I don't want to mill those. All right, pass the turn. Blue, colorless. Colorless? Is this a sigh? It is! Mox Amber. So I think we're actually facing Paradoxical Outcome. I've tried to make this deck work, and I've never been able to do so. That is backbreaking. Wow. Oh, all right. That hurt. That hurt a lot. Okay, so let's fill up the graveyard again. Um... There's no point in me keeping any of this. I guess I can keep a Thoughtseize. All right, let's tap this for green and I'll just play the Hoots. Okay. So the opponent can sacrifice the two Thopters to draw a card here. Let's see if they do it. 
He's sacrificing Amber and Athopter, okay. Another Mox Amber, another Thopter. Land, they have two cards left. It's worth noting if they hold open mana for a Moonsnare prototype, that's also really bad for me. Ultra Brood. Okay, so if their last card is a Moonsnare, we're in trouble. All right, let's see if it is. Tapping some mana. Oh, it's an outcome? Okay. So the Altar of Brood is their win condition, which is cute. Um, take the Altar, I guess. Neoform, we have to get lucky off this or else we're dead. Looks like I don't even have that many time. I have five time locks left. It's not a lot. Our opponent has three blockers. Get in there. Look at the cards. So we found a Karn's Temporal Sundering, which clears one of the blockers. Okay. So they'll block. Now we take another turn. Draw. Let's attack. I want to see what my options are. We found another Curtain's Temporal Sundering. That's really lucky. All right, so we're going to get rid of this Thopter. Now they'll take six. I can play the Tassiger. Get in some extra damage. All right, so we're going to cast the Tassiger. Draw. Not a contingency plan. All right, so let's get in there. So we get a trigger. And I had another time walk. That's just a super lucky run. Our opponent's probably a little upset about that. We milled a lot of time walks and then just chained them together. Sometimes that's how it be, though. Um, so Swan Song's decent here. I think we want the Swans. And I'm not so sure about Hermit. I think it's a little bit slow for this matchup. But also board and Witherbloom to like blow up some of their stuff. Well, let's see what I can do. So I think we're okay to board out Consider. And it leaves us at 63. So would I rather have otherworldly gazes or commands? I think command in case they have something like um, Graftigger's Cage. We'll just go down to one otherworldly gaze. You know what, screw it. I'm going to bring in one Besaju. Or both. Why not? Let's do it like this. I don't have definitive board plans. I'm just playing Magic the Gathering. Please forgive me. And we're on the draw for game number two. Double scheming. No Delve Threat. No Neo Form. Five lands. I'm going to mulligan. Keep. Very good hand. Point it with a mulligan to five. Spire Buff Canal. Into Prototype. Draw. That was a good one. Right on curve. Thoughtseize. We'll take the blink of an eye and leave them with one land outcome. So one of the things about playing an outcome deck, and I have a lot of experience playing outcome decks. I played it in standard, which is the closest build to what we're seeing here. And then I've also played it in vintage. Like I won a lot with it in vintage. Um but you, it requires a lot of resources, which is my point. And our opponent mulligan to five, so they're really low on resources at the moment. Okay. Mill the lands at the bare minimum. So that's four. I have to mill one more card. 
I think I want the scheming. All right. We want to leave a Neoform on top just in case. Like, anything could happen. Our opponent has one unknown card at the moment. And it's another Moon Snare. Okay. So we have the green light. Let's delve our monkey. Whoops. Tap for the wrong color there. My bad. All right. Delve monkey this time. All right. Blue, green, and Neoform! BC wins the match. <sighs> All right. Enough joking around. 4 0, one round left to go. Let's get it. I'd love to trophy this. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. All right, time for the fifth and final round. We're on the draw. We have our Delve Threat. We have Contingency Plan lands. The only thing we're missing here is a Neoform. I'll find one, not too worried about it. Let's go. Are we facing humans? Looks very humans-esque to me. It is. All right, they just passed. Play a tap land here. Pass back. Drawing another time walk was not ideal. I'm not going to pretend that was a good draw. A lot of you have been asking me uh, in the comments of the previous video about playing invoke calamity in the deck so that way you can get back your time walk effects i really do think it's a pretty big trap uh it's just you don't want more cards that are bad uh on their own and that was an amazing draw although this thalia it will make us a turn slower so next turn we have to scheming instead of on turn two but that's fine it actually slows down the following turn as well unless i draw or find another land Three mana. Manus Rider. Yep. So being on the draw was a pretty big punish this game. I'm going to go to 15. Draw. All right. Let's play the contingency plan. All right, I'm just going to mill all of these. Pass. So we do have a Neoform next turn. The problem with that is, even with the Neoform, I can't cast a Time Walk due to the Thalia being on the table. So this Thalia has really double Time Walked us at this point. This looks like another Manus Rider coming in. I could be dead. Depending on what's left in our opponent's hand, they could have me. So we'll take an attack for, for 8 here. So that means that even when I put the Velomachus onto the table uh, on my turn, it can block one of these Manus Riders, but if our opponent has just two damage, I'm dead. I'm sorry, one damage because of the uh, the Confluence. Okay. Play the Hoots. And then Neoform down to one life. With the Velomachus, we can attack, but I think that Thalia got me here. And I can't cast any of these due to the uh, Thalia. Pretty sure. Let's just attempt to, and I can't. All right. Nope. All right. Wanted to make sure. Come on, block. There we go. All right, so that, uh, actually, is that even good? I don't know, it buys me time technically. All right. So Thalia is going to put me to four. I can play another Tassiger on my turn, but I'm lacking the um, second copy in Neoform. Pack leader. Okay. 
Um, if they have a land next turn, I think they might have me. All right, I'm going to play the scheming. I have to find Neoform. It's the only way that I end up pulling out of this. There's Neo, so there's a there's a small window of opportunity for us here. All right, so mill, mill, mill. All right, and then we're gonna put this on top. Neo form, Passiger. Hope that I get to untap. Actually, uh, I can't pay for the the mana confluence damage. I would need them to be a coward and not attack me this turn. That's the only way we win here. I forgot about the mana confluence damage off the tax from Thalia. Is this a Manus Rider? Looks like it is. That's going to do it. All right, so they got game one. That's a bummer. Okay. Thoughtseize out. And we're going to bring in Stern Dismissal in the Witherbloom commands. I guess I can actually keep in thoughts he's over consider. That's fine. Let's do this. Have to pull out back to back games in order to get this trophy now versus humans. And if we're fortunate enough to get game two, we will be on the draw for game three. All right, game two on the play. All we're missing here is a Delve Threat. Keep. Okay, Sanctum, pass the turn. Temple Garden, tapped. Okay. The Rilly Gaze. No Delve Threat. I'm going to mill all of these. If I'm going to keep land three, I'd prefer if I made black mana. All right. Yes. Scheming. And there's the hoots. No land though. Um, we're two turns away from Neoform. All right. Hoots. Unclaimed territory. You got it. Here she is, Thalia. Yep. So I cannot flash back. Um, or I can't cast the Rilly Gaze this turn. So I think I should just play Monkey and hope to draw a land. Okay. Have to pass. All right, land number three from our opponent, and it's tapped. Back leader, okay. See if I can rip that land this turn. Ding. So something I could do is Witherbloom Command to kill Thalia. But I don't think that's actually what I want to do here. I just want to... Well, my fear is like, what if I kill the Thalia and they just play a second, right? But then again, if I put Velomachus on the table and they just Reflector Mage me, oh. All right, I think I'm actually going to wait a turn just to play around with Reflector Mage. All right, so kill the Thalia, drain you for two, pay the tax. Um, let's get in there. All right, they have land number four. Which is why I actually attacked, because if they made their creature into a 5-3, I would have I wouldn't have been able to block anyway. Alright, so they have five cards still in hand. And they're just passing. It makes me really uncomfortable. <laughs> um So this to me says that they have collected company. There's no chance that they have Adawara in their deck. I have to hope that their company misses, I think. Here comes Collected Company. Please, no whammies. Please, no whammies. 
Maybe that was a... Oh, it was worst case scenario. Oh. I think I'm out. Uh, maybe I wasn't supposed to kill their Thalia. Ah, uh, geez. Maybe I just outplayed myself here. Now here's the Manus Rider. So close to a trophy, and now it's gone. Yep. All right. Ah, oh, geez. Wow. All right. They got me. There's no coming back from that. So we went 4-1, which is still a really good record. Uh, it's possibly... I I don't know. Maybe instead of on turn 3, if I should have just jammed the Neo form. I would have lost to a Reflector Mage in hand, but this was worst case scenario of them having company into exactly Reflector Mage Thalia, because without the Thalia, I could still uh, cast the other world of Gazes and set up. But because they had both, it was just worst case scenario. Oh well. 4-1's still fine. I love this deck. This deck is so powerful. I don't know if I just ran hot tonight or what, but geez, it, this deck was really, really good. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. Thank you for watching. This league was a ton of fun to play. I really, really like this deck. Take care, keep storming, and have a great day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com slash tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.